I want you to think about the top two innovators in the world today. Picture in your mind your reference point of a visionary, of a pioneer, of a game changer. Is a woman among this group? I'm going to talk about women today, but not just any kind of woman. I'm going to talk about women who are changing the world. Who are they? Where are they? Are you one of these women? Well, before we get to that, let's look at our world today. In a world of 7 billion people, in a country like Spain of 47 million people, women are 50% of that total population. And a world of women means fantastic for this economy. We are $20 trillion strong. We are a revolution, a market bigger than China and India combined. And we make lead decisions of over 90% of home purchases, 80% of healthcare choices, and over 60% of computer purchases. A world of women also means that two-thirds of all working hours are done by women. But it also means that 70% of the world's poor are women and girls. Now, what about government and business? Our world today is led by over 80% by men. That means out of the approximate 200 sovereign nations in the globe, less than 30 of those countries have a female head of state or president. It means that of our top organizations in the world, over 90% of those chief executive officers are men. And it means that 99% of all property owned in the world is owned by men. What about innovation, science, and technology? What are our reference points in this area, the ecosystem? Well, we have some great individuals that have done great things, that have changed our lives, our perspective, that have made our world better. And through history and today, we all recognize them collectively, men and women. We celebrate them, we champion them, we want to be like, we want to work for their companies. Einstein, Edison, Pasteur, great, great individuals. What about now? Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Wikipedia, Intel, Cisco, Apple, Microsoft, Google. I can keep going. But... The point is, they are amazing individuals, right? You know, Larry and Sergey, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, they have con connected us around the world. They have brought us inspiring technologies. Where are the women? Where are the women like these great guys that we all collectively celebrate and acknowledge and recognize for the innovators that they are? for the way that they have shifted our perspective, idea makers, change agents. How do we balance this ratio where 50% of the world is women, but not 50% of the conversation? Now, I grew up in Honduras. I am a child of two languages, two cultures, two worlds. I grew up listening to Menudo and Cindy Lauper and Juan Luis Guerra. And I loved it, and I looked for reference points as I was growing up. Somebody that maybe was like me, a Latina that talks with her hands and really, really fast. But was there a woman from Central or South America that had invented something fantastic, that had created something incredible that the whole world was talking about? You know, before TED, before Singularity University, before Google or Facebook, where was this list of women? Where was this roster that I could just look up of fascinating women alive today that I could connect to and talk to? Well, I didn't find it in Honduras, but I ended up in the innovation capital of the world in Silicon Valley, and I have had the opportunity to meet this dynamic ecosystem of innovators, of thought leaders, of pioneers at the cutting edge of these amazing industries, nanotech, biotech, artificial intelligence. Great, great individuals, inspiring. I'm inspired every day by them. But I ended up asking that same question, where are the women? 
Well, I didn't find it in Honduras and I didn't find it in the United States, so I decided to make that list myself. And I've gone across, <laughs> across several countries looking for these women alive today that will inspire me. And I found two things. One, they do exist. There are amazing female innovators and game changers, visionaries, pioneers, disruptors, icons of the future alive today in every nation. But two, they're not visible. They're not known to everyone. We don't recognize them as an entire community. Who are these amazing women? These amazing women are like this astronaut, Mae Jemison, the first woman of color in the world to go to space. These women are like your very own Teresa Gonzalo, who's leveraging nanotechnology for AIDS prevention. These women are Amy Purdy, who lost both her legs in 19, but she's a three-time gold medal Paralympic snowboarder who's getting 3D prosthetic limbs so that she can keep going. These individuals are like your very own Alicia, who we talked about this morning, the first female from Spain to climb Mount Everest. Incredible women, on and on. Hannah Chung, 21 years old, has created this robot teddy bear for children with diabetes. Kay Koplovitz, who created the USA Network and my favorite channel, the Science Fiction Channel, which I absolutely love. You know, these are amazing women of today doing amazing things that we all benefit from. From Ada Lovelace and Grace Hopper, first computer programmers and coders ever before the giants of today, they are reference points. So now what? Well, now we find them, they're being found, and now we need to connect them. We need to connect these catalysts because they're like satellites all by themselves. And they need to create a community of like-minded game changers so they can make even more powerful initiatives that benefit all of us. And that's what I'm doing with Women at the Frontier a social initiative to find and build awareness of who these women are, where they are, and to be able to tell their stories, to amplify the great things that they're doing. And how can we do that? Where well, there's a couple of things. Number one, a role model index. And we're building this index, a female game changer index that is the DNA of the new source of innovators that will include women as well as men. It's important for all of us, men and women, girls and boys, to have a greater variety of role models and reference points of what you can be like, of how they're doing business, of how they're building teams. It's about storytelling. Girls excel at reading. And so let's use that as the process to inspire them with stories of these other great women and reference points alive today so they can imagine bigger, so they can find somebody like them hands-on mentorship. We heard from Stefania in Hackademia. What a great initiative. Dean Kamen has another one also called First Robots. Ladies, girls, let's get our hands on some robots. Let's build things. Let's create things. Let's touch, smell, sense, feel what innovation is all about so we can be part of building this, this global world. Let's play and let's design the future together and be part of the ecosystem. Yes, I am talking about a big shift here, but it can start with one of the smallest things, a butterfly effect. First, let's just give visibility. Let's just recognize as a global body who these women, innovators, pioneers, disruptors, thought leaders, idea makers, game changers are, just like these awesome men that we all think about. So what can you do? Well. If you are a female game changer, please come and talk to me. I totally want to talk to you. <laughs> if you are a woman who is inventing something, who is at the cutting edge of your industry, who's not sure but is doing an amazing research or scientific project, and you think you've got the next big thing, we want to talk to you. Please come to us. Men, join us. If you have the resources, if you have the wisdom to mentor us, if you have access, if you have the funding, please help us build this community of female role models to add and balance the ratio of these incredible male role models that we currently have today. Let's work together to build a whole new ecosystem of innovators that includes both of us so that half the sky has half the voice 
And next time when somebody asks you, please think about the top two innovators, thought leaders, pioneers, game changers of today, perhaps one of them will be a woman. Gracias.